children we will work on the chapter concepts of time and calendar as always first we will start with what is time 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 is the indefinite continued progress of existence and events that occur in an apparently irreversible succession from the past through the present into the future in short we can say that it is the irreversible occurrence of events which includes the past that something has happened already the present which is happening and the future that will come okay now the second word that is calendar and when i say calendar you all know what exactly is calendar calendar is a chart or series of pages showing the days weeks and months of a particular year or giving particular seasonal information now let's come back to time again at home we determine time with the help of clock the friend that hangs on our wall if you look at very closely it has got some numbers from 1 to 12 and three different sized arms the fastest one is the second arm the thin and the fastest one The next one is the minute arm. It is little thick and it goes little slower as well. That is the minute arm. And then the thickest and the shortest and the slowest one is the R arm. R arm. Okay. we know the basic concept that 60 second is equal to 1 minute and then 60 minute is equals to 1 hour and this keeps going on and on 24 hour makes a day and 7 day makes a week and then in one month we have 28 29 30 and 31 days it depends of which month we are talking about for example february has 28 days but only in leap year it has got 29 days now there is a small phrase and this phrase will help you to remember a major concept and that phrase is ab ju sep no okay now ab ju sep no what is that uh it's not a juice or apple juice it is a phrase that will help you to remember the months who has got 30 days it's just my made up thing it just popped up into my mind right now now when i say app it means april the month of april now when i say june that means june the month of june and then i say sep that means september and no that means november so april june september and november these months have 30 days now the fellow months that are left have 31 days and they are january march may july august october and december now 
these 12 months make one year and in one year we have 365 days in leap year we have 366 days now we know what is one year but now there is one more concept that we have to discuss and that is that 10 year we call it decade and then 100 year we call it century the another thing which I have to tell you is that our time history or the timeline history timeline is divided in two parts one is BC that is before Christ which is also called before common era and the next one is AD Anno Domini which means the year Jesus Christ was born which is also called CE common era and that's all for today children next time we discuss more concepts and more interesting concepts for you to learn till then i bless you all